My name is Pearl Dick, and I am from the great city of Chicago. Just finished an epic piece. Uh, it was it was one of the pieces like I do for a series called Bloom and Grow, um, which is a piece that has a sculpted glass head and uh, colorful floral type sculptures all around it, like where hair would be. Um, this was a series that I started back in Chicago working with young people in my studio. The series is really about like, um, you know, nurturing um, growth and beauty and the, the relationship that you have with like a teacher and student or mentor and mentee, um, which is mutually beneficial and beautifying. So, you know, like the flowers, you know, is a symbol of like growth and beauty in a garden that you cultivate. When I was a painter, um, primarily before I got into glass, I always also painted heads and drew human faces. I, I really like purposely keep them somewhat androgynous so that they represent humanity and not like a particular, a, a particular person. Um, people have always been what interested me. Like when I go out into, you know, the world, I, I notice people. Um, I notice everything, but people in our relationships with each other is, is what I choose to depict in this, this artwork. Um, so when I sculpt glass heads, like the, that head shape to me embodies like, um, like our, our soul, our like consciousness. You know, I, I like the variation that you can get with powder. Um, you know, glass like tends to look, a, a lot of glass can be like really glossy. Um, and the powder, when it's on the surface, um, can, can give you a lot of interesting texture. And I'm also able to manipulate it um, before it's melted in to make it, like I treat it almost like, like paint, you know, like, like brush strokes. So I'll layer powders on wipe them away in certain places. I use a corn brush, so it leaves brush marks, essentially. And um, to me, it, it, it's a way of applying color that feels very painterly um, and organic. You know, I can kind of go with it in the moment, like see what the piece is doing, and then add color to, to enhance, like to bring out whatever it's speaking to me in it, at, at the moment. Um, there's another technique that I'll use where, like, so I'll sculpt into a layer of clear glass. So there's a layer of powder that gives kind of a base color, and then I'll do a clear layer over it. And so when you sculpt into that, you pull features out into, into this clear layer that kind of disappears until you add that contour layer on top of it. So when I add sifted powder onto that sculpted layer and brush it away, and it tends to like stick into like the cracks, and it really brings out the features. It almost makes it look like a drawn or a painted line. This team is unreal. I mean, I was so excited when I heard that I was gonna be able to come and do this residency because I, I know these folks are, you know, I know how skilled they are. I know how cool they are, you know, as people. But I mean, there's some of the most skilled glass blowers in the world here, and they're a real tight team. So I just knew that if I came in with projects that I have had technical issues with back home, that they could help me brainstorm how to make them succeed. And they, they did that and then some. You know, everybody's real chill. Everybody's like just doing their thing, and you can rely on every member of the team, which is really nice.